morning everyone and welcome back to the channel it is tuesday 22nd of december and uh, today's video we are going to be continuing our demo of the 6110m uh, we have it here you may have seen the walk around video that took place yesterday well today's video we're going to be running it through its paces on a few different jobs first job is you can see it here we're all set up to just start filling the the feed up we have to feed our suckler cows with it um so some silage to blend with some meal uh, gonna, like the drone here it's set up in the ground uh, we're going to just send it up try and get a bit of footage of all that going on and i'll do a wee bit of a voiceover over some of it i might add a bit of music over some of it and we'll do a little talk about then at the end how uh, it performed while uh, filling the feed up and uh, how, how how the the loader performed on it uh, so that's this part of the video uh, we'll also be going to take home some round bales so we're going to put the low loader on the, the 6110M I'm going to try that on it uh, we'll see what it's like to pull uh, pull the low loader with some round bales on it as well so we'll be testing it out in a few different jobs today so yeah let's get at it So we're progressing on nicely at this point in the filling of the diet feeder. Meal is all in and we're just heading over now to the silage pit to pick up the first of the blocks. And now you can see blocks have all been cut out prior. Uh, I cut them out the shear grab uh, and this is normal procedure for us. So uh, we, we cut up, we, we put on the shear grab, cut out enough blocks that will do a couple of days. Uh, and then we can hook the shear grab off and it doesn't have to go on then for a couple of days so uh, it just saves hooking on and off the shear grab every single day uh, also find that moving uh, moving the silage across with the uh, with with the bucket it, there's less spillage usually as well and so this, what i'm doing here now is exactly what i do with the teleporter so uh, nothing different in any of that uh, the blocks are roughly Depends on the on the size of the block. Decent here are around 350, uh, 350 to four hundred kilos in weight. Um if, if if for every full block that I pick up and no issue at all on the tractor, didn't even know it was on it. So uh it's quite a nice weight to just try it out with and as I say, it, it hardly even knew it was there. Um turning circle on the tractor, you might remember um on the the walk around video i mentioned that uh, i was very impressed with the turning circle of the tractor it it reminded me very much of the 2850 is what i said so uh the turning circle of this tractor is 4.2 meters so it's got quite a tight turning circle but when i got finished up last night i decided i'd check out my i have a 2850 brochure and just have a look through it and see if i could find the turning circle of it Found the turning circle, and the turning circle of a twenty-eight fifty is four point two meters. So it is exactly the same. Uh, that's a huge. That's a huge plus to have to have a, a tractor 
uh, of this size. It is like it's bigger than the twenty eight fifty, but it has the same turning circle as it, uh, as it. Uh, and to have that kind of maneuverability in this size of tractor is is an, is it's a huge advantage. Uh, it around the yard, uh, around tight spaces, it's just uh, you couldn't ask for any more. Um. Yeah, going over now to get the last bit of silage here, I believe. And we shift now to uh, the in-cab view. And what I've done was I set the camera up here where it's kind of at, it's at my eye level. So what you see here now, looking down the bonnet, is what I see when I'm sitting in the in the, in the the seat. Uh, you can, you've a, you have a clear view right down to the bucket. No matter what you're doing, whether you're loading silage or meal, uh, whether you're where you want to scrape the yard or scrape uh, scrape up clay or whatever you're going to do, lift some gravel, you can see what you're doing with the bucket. This is something that, it's one of the reasons I've always been put off uh, tractors and loaders, that you can't see the bucket and can't see what you're doing. Uh, teleporter always had a huge advantage over, uh, over tractors in that regard, but uh, this here, is, the slopey bonnet is just fantastic. The The Sight, line of sight that you have down to the bucket is second to none. All right, so we got on while well there with loading the diet feeder. You'll have heard all my thoughts on the tractor uh, just there on the bit of a voiceover as we were filling it. Um, next job, I'm going to hitch off the uh, the weight block here off the back of it, and we'll we'll get it hooked onto the the low loader, and we're going to go collect some bales. So let's keep going and we get that done. probably just about see it there behind me um, first impressions of driving the tractor on the road with a trailer on very comfortable uh, considering the tractor has a loader on it there isn't much in the lines or way of bounce uh, yeah very very comfortable now of course the tractor has got TLS and uh, uh, cab suspension so uh, yeah you'd, you'd expect that it should be comfortable but even considering there's a loader on it, usually a tractor with a loader can be quite bouncy, but you don't seem to have any of that. Uh, of course, there's not much weight on it yet, but a uh, tractor seems to have great power. It's it's one of the things that uh, Dad took it up the up the road a couple of the night it came, a couple of nights ago, and it's one of the first things he remarked about was that it was quite lively to drive. Uh, and I was just looking at the the power, even though it's it says it's stated as 110 horsepower. It's quite a little bit more than that even. It, on the boost it goes up to 130 horsepower. So uh, yeah, quite uh, quite quite powerful for the size of tractor that it is.
All right, so at this point we're getting through the work quite nicely and uh, getting a nice feel for the tractor and uh, getting an opinion on it. Um, we really like the tractor. A fantastic little tractor. It, uh, for its size, lots of power. Uh, visibility out of it's fantastic. Maneuverability is very good. Uh, the drivability of the tractor is it's a John Deere so we're very much used to it and everything is very natural about driving it um, loader fantastic loader on it uh, that higher output oil pump that's on it makes the loader it's very fast it's got great lift capacity everything about it's very good uh, on that front uh, I couldn't really see any flaws on it to be honest it's it, it's it's got lots of extras and lots of spec on it Um. It's look at as I said, it, this tractor is ideally suited to the smaller livestock farmer, a uh, guy who wants to feed his animals in the winter time. Uh, he wants to maybe stack some bales in the summer time, spread his fertilizer, uh, do a bit of land rolling, do a bit of tedding. Uh, you know, maybe have a mower he can cut his own silage or hay. You know, this this is what it's aimed at, and uh, it's it's just a lovely little tractor. Uh, so it's definitely it's a it's a thumbs up from us. So we are on the way now with the bales, uh, almost at our destination. We've got 18 bales on the trailer, so somewhere in the region I'd say of around 9 ton, plus the weight of the trailer itself. Uh, no problem with the tractor to handle it. Alright, so I didn't get a whole lot of footage now whilst driving the tractor with the load on it because, uh, well, I was doing a bit of drone footage and it's hard to drive the tractor and take drone footage at the same time, so it was a bit of a swap went on. Uh, my dad drove the tractor back quite a bit of the way when I was taking the footage. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, roughly about 12 ton I would say was behind the tractor and handled it no problem at all. Um, the tractor is new now, so uh, it would need to get a couple of hundred hours on it for it to, to get running and to get the, all the horsepower up and running on it. But even so, still no problem at all to handle it. Uh, very steady on the road. Um, yeah, nice to drive. Look at it. It's, it's your typical uh, John Deere on the road. They, they are nice to drive and uh, yeah, very impressed with it. So that's the 6110M ready for heading back to a handling machinery. Have the bucket back onto it. Weight block is back on the back of it and she's ready for the road. Uh, great to have it out on demo over the last few days. So a big thank you to handling machinery for leaving it out with me. Uh, if you're interested in one of these tractors, this tractor is going on demo now over the next few months. So. Uh, there's, in the description you'll see uh, a link to their website all the contact details are there get in touch with them if you're interested in one of these tractors uh, and yeah they'll organize a demo for you and you'll be able to try it out for yourself and see what you think and if you like it you might be able to buy it so that's it uh, hope you enjoyed these few videos uh, also just before I finish off the video Olight are having a uh, having a flash sale on the 26th of December so um, there'll also be a link down below to the Olight store go over there see what all stuff they have on sale they're having a huge sale so uh, check that out if the end you like you might be able to get a, a late Christmas present uh, or maybe something on sale so check that out also um, and that's the, the last video before Christmas just want to wish everybody a happy Christmas uh, and hope you have a great time strange year this year not all family members will probably be able to celebrate Christmas with you but hopefully 2021 uh, will be a lot better than this year so let's see how we get on uh, that's it uh, we'll see you in, in between Christmas and New Year with some more videos until then uh, we'll talk to you then